Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome. In this lecture, we will discuss blocking in a factorial design. So, so far we have completed up to full design, up to full factorial design. And you know what is full factorial design. Today, we will see that let there be let there be there be two factors with a and b labels let there be there be a nuisance variable a nuisance factor that need to be blocked needs to be to be blocked so how can we do this so this is our issue 1 second issue is let there be two factors, let there be two factors which are controllable and two nuisance variable, nuisance factors. How can we, con how can we estimate the effect of the controllable factors while blocking the nuisance factor. Nuisance factor. So, and definitely issue uh, issue 3 will be that this can be generalized generalization of the same so we will discuss first the issue 1 in details with an example then issue 2 another example we will show you and obviously this the after this you will know that how can it be generalized? Let us consi <coughs> consider first two factors A and B and N replicates. Suppose factor A having A labels, factor B having B labels, N replicates is there. So, then the fixed effect model, fixed effect model is y i j k equal to mu plus tau i plus beta j tau beta i j plus epsilon i j k. So, let when you are running this experiment so, you are using batches of raw material, different batches of raw material. Obviously, this batches of raw material may, be, may create nuisance and it has to be controlled. Let further that suppose in one batch, one batch of raw material.
is sufficient enough to run or to conduct A B experimental runs. So, as a result what happened? You require n batches n batches to complete the a b n runs experimental runs. So, you are not getting single batch you are getting n batches. So, now you require to block this n batches. So, how can you block every block batches of raw material will be used to to do a b experimental runs and then next uh, that means within a within a full factorial design involving a and b you are having a single replicate so n batches will be n blocks and in each suppose one two like n batch and again I have suppose A and this side B. So, what are you doing? You are doing that B will be having different levels, A having different levels. So, what are you doing here? This batch will be used for A B runs, second batch similarly will be for another A B runs, like in the batch will be used for another A B runs. So, within a block there are a b runs. So, then within block a and b will be full factorial with single replicate. So, that means, raw material represent randomization restriction or a block and single replicate of a complete full factor, uh, factorial experiment is run within a block. So, if this is the situation then your model fixed effect model will be y i j k. So, it will be your mu plus tau i plus beta j plus tau beta i j plus delta k plus epsilon i j k. So, this is grand mean this one is factor A effect, factor B effect, interaction effect, block effect, error and I will be from 1 to A, J will be from 1 to B and K will be from 1 to N. If this is the case, now considering our knowledge, whatever we have learned so far, what we have done? we partition the observations like this. So, you have to partition the partition the sum square also. So, sum square total this will be your sum square a plus sum square b plus sum square a b plus sum square blocks plus sum square error this is basically partitioning the observation, this is basically partitioning the partitioning the sum square total. Now, what will be the to degrees of freedom then? DOE partitioning will be like this, DOE if here A B n minus 1, this is your total. Now, this will be A minus 1 plus B minus 1 plus a minus 1 into b minus 1 plus what will be the how many blocks n blocks n minus 1. Then the remaining a b n minus 1 minus all those things this will lead to the error degrees of freedom that is this will be a b minus 1 into n minus 1. And then what you actually when if I want the corresponding corresponding m s then what will be the m s m s a 
will be S S A by A minus 1, M S B will be S S B by B minus 1, M S A B will be S S A B by A minus 1, B minus 1. So, like this and M S E will be S S E by A B minus 1 into N minus 1 and then you compute F. So, this is the general approach and using F you will see that whether the effects are this or not. Now, now what will be the formula for, for your treatment computation of treatment effect? Computation of effect parameter not only effect parameters. Again we know the formula. For example, if I want to estimate the grand mean, this will be y dot 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 bar. If we is interested to estimate tau i, this will be your y i dot dot bar minus y dot dot bar. So, grand mean. Similarly, if you are interested to estimate beta j, this will be y dot j dot bar minus y triple dot bar. If you are interested to know delta k, what is the estimate? That will be y dot dot k bar minus y triple dot. Okay. So, then there will be your tau beta i j, then this will be y i j dot bar minus y your y i dot dot bar minus y dot j dot bar plus y double dot bar triple dot bar. Okay. So, error you will be computing other ways. Now, suppose you are interested to know compute the S S computation of S S sum square. So, what will be the sum square total? Sum square total here it will be j k equal to 1 to n, j equal to 1 to b, i equal to 1 to a, then y i j k square minus y triple dot square by a b n. You want to know S S A, then S S A means the rho total i equal to 1 to a y i dot dot square, then 1 by b into n minus y triple dot square by a b n. If you want to calculate S S B, you know this. So, that b will change means j is 1 to b 1 by a n because a n observation will be there then y dot j dot square minus y triple dot square by a b n. So, what will happen to s s a b then s s a b first you find out the subtotal for j equal to 1 to b k i equal to 1 to a then 1 by n y i j dot square this will give you the give you the that means in a b cell the square the observer total and the square minus y triple dot square by a b n this is your s s sub to s s sub total a b and it will be subtracted by s s a minus s s b. This will give you s s a b. Then remaining is s s e which is s s t minus s s a minus s s b minus s s a b. S S T S S A S S B S S A B. Ah, there is another one which is known as minus S S block. 
show there is another uh, your SS you have to compute that is SS block. How many blocks are there? There are n blocks. So, in each block a b observations are there. So, k equal to 1 to n 1 by a b y dot dot k square minus y triple dot square by a b into n. Okay. So, you got all the computations formulas. Then you will be having this ANOVA table. You see block this is S S degree of freedom expected mean square A B A B they are corresponding everything is given F 0 is calculated for A calculated for B calculated for A B because you want to know whether the factors and their interactions are significant or not using F 0 you will be doing this. Okay. So, let us see one example here. So, the computation treatment part all those things given here. Here we are considering two factors A and B, A with three levels, B with two levels and there are there are there are four blocks let it be uh, the may be that raw four batches of raw materials. The four batches of raw materials uh, and each batch of raw material will be able to is enough to conduct uh, 3 into 2 6 experimental runs. So, what is the condition here we say that you require 6 experimental runs for sing with single replicate suppose you want n replicate and in it, it is the situation where that the every batch can conduct only 6 uh, experiment then then each of the rep and, uh, uh, block will be treated as a replicate and uh, each block will be will be used to do full factorial design with single replicate okay so <coughs> so then under this situation let us compute the um, what I want to compute on the F x and S s. So, this is computation the for uh, the excel sheet we have I am showing you. You see the data right, this is the upper uh, batches of raw material 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, let me let me make it little bigger. Now, A having three levels low, medium, high, B having two levels that let it be 1 and 2. Now, what you want to compute? You want to first compute the grand mean. What will be the grand mean? Grand mean will be what is the grand total? You see if I click here, it is basically sum of all the uh, some of these rows representing 4 blocks. So, and when I click here this is sum of the runs that means y sum of the y values against each batch of raw material. This is the total of all those 3 into 2 into 4 how much? 3 into 2 6 into 4 24 observations. So, if you want a grand mean you can write down this equal to this divided by 24 it will give you 94.95. So, this is your grand mean. Now, suppose uh, what is the total for A, A at low then this is the row, this row total, this row total is this one, sum total of the rows where when A is low, this value is 725. Now, if you want the average, write down this equal to 725 divided by how many data points are there, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 because 4 into 2, 4 into 2, 8 divided by 8, this will give you 90.25. So, now if I want for these 3 rows, then I click like this. So, 94, 95 and 98. Suppose you want the treatment effect tau i, suppose tau i I am writing little like T i then this will become this will be the row average minus the grand average it will be minus 4.33 and in the manner you will calculate the other one uh, what happened sorry. So, 4.33 and the second one will be also this will be second row minus the grand average will be this third one will be the third row average minus the grand average will be this 3.91. So, these are tau i estimate and similarly you can get the beta j estimate. Now, if you want to use beta j estimate, so you have to see that what is the total row column total against b equal to 1 and b equal to 2. So, b equal to 1 if I say this is 305, here it is 3010, here it is 314, here it is 289, so all 4. So, 300, 300 plus 600, 6900 plus 10 around 1200, around 1200 you see here. What we have done? L M H. So, this and ultimately if you sum take sum of these two, this will be nothing but 725. If you take sum of these three, this is nothing but 1218 and this will be 1096. Now, you can find out the average here. So, average of this will be how, what will be the average? Here we are talking about B's average. So, that means 3 into 4 12, this divided by 12. So, if I want the average equal to this divided by 12, this one 100 and oh sorry, then what will be the second one 88, what is the grand average 94. So, if I want the beta j, beta if I write b j here, so this will be this minus grand average will be 6.5, this will be this minus grand average, this will be minus 6.54, because sum of tau i equal to 0, sum of beta j equal to 0 and in this manner. Okay. Now, what you require to do, if you require to do calculate the tau beta i j, the tau beta i j this one if you want to compute this will be basically here you find the average this is basically tau beta i j here how many observations are there four observations are there because replication is four 378 so this divided by suppose i want this so that when this equal to this divided by four will give you this and then if i go to this side so, this is this divided by 4 and if I come down you will get all this one and suppose what happened you want the estimate of tau beta j this equal to this average minus grand average. So, if I if I fix this one using shift operator then so this is minus 4 point this one. So, if I change this to this side, this will give you the 86 minus 94 is 8.4 and if I, if I make for 3 different, so you are getting this. You take sum, you ok. So, so probably just one minute delete it. Let me check 378 each whether 
L 1 1 this 1 or not L 1 L and this 1 89 plus 95 plus 100 plus 94 this will be 389 yes or no. So, let me check. Yes, you see this one, this one, this one, this one. So, okay, divided by 4 will be that average. So, that is correct. Divided by 4 is this, this is correct. Now, we are interested to find out this one, the average estimate of this. So, formula is formula is y i j bar minus y i dot 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 bar minus y dot j dot bar plus i dot dot bar. Okay. So, that means, we have used the wrong formula here. So, what do you require to use? You require to this, you have to write here suppose equal to this that is basically the cell average y 1 1 dot bar minus row average, row average is this minus column average this plus grand average this. Okay. Now, if you fix uh, the unit error, you can find out the value. So, this way tau beta will be computed and then delta uh, that that uh, our block block effects also you can compute, but it is not of interest. Then find out the SS calculation. So, what is SST? What what you find out the what is the SST? SST is sum total of all you see that is we have considered SST calculation just a minute. Okay, this n 7 minus this now n 7 is this now how this is computed that we have to check sum of this I think I am talking giving you the S S A B and total. Okay. So, what we have come you know the formula formula is basically that you take the square of all those terms minus this because there are in between terms we have computed and that manner it came like this suppose SS statement SS block SS block we are writing 1 by 6 because 3 against every block there are 6 observations 1 by 6 M 9 M 9 means this one. Okay. So, that means this is nothing then what is this value? this value is against yes in each block you are taking basically the squaring of each of these things and taking sum squaring of second block observation taking sum. So, that sense it is coming. So, that means when I am talking about SS block you are basically first making this one this is your this value and then you are subtracting this value. Okay. When you are talking about SST you are acquiring the, this is the same manner you are going to be. So, in this way you will calculate all the SS parts. Then after that what will happen? You will go for Excel sheet uh, ANOVA table. Your sources of variation is A, B, A, B blocks error. Everything was computed. Degrees of freedom accordingly computed. M S computed, F 0 computed and we have found out for for the first effect the theoretical value is F 2 15 0 0.05 A 3 .8368. computed value 11.05 more than this significant. In this manner it is found that A B C A B and A B are significant. Okay. So, now I um, will show you another example that example 2 where what happened two factors a and b and two nuisance uh, two nuisance variables. So, we have considered two factors f and g these are two factors we are writing two factors 
and two nuisance variable in row and column. For example, row may be batches of raw material, raw material and column will be column will be operator and controllable two factors may be this may be your temperature, this may be pressure or any other controllable factors. So, what will happen here if f has a labels g has b labels then in a full factorial design we singly we have how many full independent treatment combination a b treatment combination so in this case we want to use latin square so, this is a very good design you have seen when there are two blocking factors you can use latin square if there are three blocking factors you can go for graco latin square here we have two blocking factors so what we will do here so suppose a equal to if a equal to 3 or 2 or let b equal to 3 then we have 3 plus a 6 treatment combination so this treatment combinations can be denoted by denoted by latin Latin letters, which are which are basically the treatments, or other way I can say that every combination will be will be the process will be process will be treated for every combination. So I can we can use A B C D E and F for treatment combinations. For example just just for example suppose if i say f having two labels this is f1 and f2 and g having three labels g1 g2 and g3 so a can be that is the both at low level f1 and g1 both at low level f1 and g1 now if i draw like this suppose this side my g and this side f. So, this is g 1, this is g 2, this is g 3, then this one is f 1, this is f 2. So, it is f 1 g 1, this one is f 1 g 2. So, this point is f 1 g 1, f 1 g 2 and f 1 g 3, f 2 g 1, f 2 g 2, f 2 g 3. So, I, we are saying this combination is denoted by A, suppose F 1 J 2 denoted by B and F 1 J 3 denoted by C, F 2 G 1 denoted by D, F 2 G 2 denoted by suppose E and this one is F. So, this Latin, num, Latin this, uh, alphabet, this alphabet A, B, C, D, these are used for this treatment combination. So, if we want to use latin square we require then that means 6 rows and 6 columns. So, we require 6 batches of raw material and 6 batches of 6 numbers of operators. So, yours will be yours will be 6 by 6. So, row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and here it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, you have you have Latin squares 6 by 6, 6 by 6 Latin square you have. Now, this all A, B, C, D, this will be placed. So, here I let it be A, B, C, D, let it be F and E. Obviously, we have to follow the Latin, uh, Latin square uh, generation rules and accordingly you will be writing down. For example, a good let uh, from that region suppose we got this A then this will be C let it be B then E F D in this manner. For the <coughs> suppose this is the table. So, A, B, C, D, F, E, C, A, B, F, G all those things 
using relative square randomization scheme it is the treatment combinations are selected like this and given to each of the uh, block, uh, blocks like row and column blocks. You all know that in Latin square every treatment will occur once against the row against each row as well as once against each column. If I if you compare the column one, you see A is coming once again in the if you compare row the row one also A is once. So that is the scheme. It is done. Okay. So then what you require to compute? You require to compute treatment effects, you require to compute your row effects, column effects, and here we have basically two treatments A and B. So, they are the treatment A and B and their interactions to be computed. So, this is uh, what the data table what happen when we com when we make row total we will get row blocks, we will make column total we will get the column blocks. For the A, B uh, that mean the factor G and A we will create a separate table from this. So, we know that G at low, medium, high, F at low and medium or F 1 and 2. So, we will if we sum the observations we will be getting this kind of thing. So, that means from this table you will be you will be basically estimating the block blocking factors effect they are some square from this table you will be estimating the controllable factors effects and they are some squares, but please keep in mind this suppose if you consider 551 this is not because of one observations because of so many observations because 1 and 1 in this case in this case if you see 1 and 1 suppose we are talking about A uh, B that A 1 1 means low level. So, you have to, to find out where F 1 G 1 is there means where A is there the here A here A here A here A here A all those A will be summed up. Similarly, all B's and C's will be summed up and accordingly there will be 3 into 2 6 are summing uh, sum of values. Okay. And then you use the rest formula the formula for computation all of you know that the formula already we have seen that means the SS formula you use and then you find out the GF, GF row and column. So, SS208 like this degrees of freedom they are MS and here what happened we found that when we block that ultimately only F the second factor, factor factor F is significant and the rest of the factor is insignificant. Okay. So, this is what is what is our Latin square design for for full factorial design and blocking two factors using Latin square design. So, what will happen if there is one more factor? So, e one more factor in the sense I am taking the one more nuisance factor then you can go for Glaco Latin square design. Okay. So, this is what is blocking in full factorial design and it if you go uh, go for more factors more blocks or suppose there are three factors two, blo two blocks and then what will happen you will go for that uh, or more in number ultimately you will go for that is the generalization of the um, full factorial with uh, more number of nuisance factors. Okay. So, thank you very much I hope that you have understood this one if you practice it definitely you will be able to solve the problems.